Well, uh, welcome to one of your forest measurements labs. Uh, today we're going to uh, go over um, working with uh, diameter tapes for measurement of BBH using both a uh, Biltmore stick uh, and a diameter tape. We'll also look at um, <coughs> measuring um, some total heights and merchantable heights uh, of trees. Well, the first tool we're going to use is a Biltmore stick, and I've got my faithful assistant, Nikki here. <laughs> Nikki is uh, not operating the camera, uh, but she is nonetheless a good dog. Every forester needs a good dog, right? No, one that listens, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay, so let's look at measuring the, uh, the diameter of a tree using the Biltmore stick. Okay, the Biltmore stick is a common tool. It's one of our older tools that we've used in forestry for measuring DBH. Okay, and obviously we all know now that DBH is diameter at breast height. That is 4.5 feet above the ground. All right. Obviously that position may deviate on our own body. All right, so we want to be 4.5 feet above the ground. That standardizes the, the location we're going to measure on the tree. Okay. And we also want to be on the uphill side of the tree. Notice that I walk to the uphill side, and you'll do that on every tree that you want to measure. All right, just again, standardizing where uh, you're measuring the tree and have a consistent measurement. Okay, so 4.5 feet above the ground. Okay, the next step is to make sure you're using the diameter of the tree side of the stick, not the diameter of the log side. So on your Biltmore stick, make sure that you see diameter of the tree. You want to be the stick's length distance away from the tree. Point that to the to um, where the DBH is, 4.5 feet above the ground. Okay. Tilt the stick and line it up so the edge of the stick, the zero side of that stick there, the one that says diameter of tree, all right, touches the far left-hand corner. Okay. So I've got it lined up, and I read 16 inches DBH. Okay. Why a fixed distance? Well, what you're doing is you're really approximating, all right, this is a flat base, you know, the base of a triangle, and this is your height. So you want to make sure you're that fixed distance away. So again, 4.5 feet of the, uh, above the ground, uphill side of the tree, okay, and a fixed distance of that, that stick away from it. Turn it, close the left eye, and read the diameter. For, t uh, for the uh, D-tape, okay, this is a diameter tape, very common. Uh, most foresters use diameter tape on their day-to-day -day, uh, <clears throat> cruising or measurement purposes. Make sure when you're using the diameter tape that you also use the correct side. A lot of diameter tapes have a linear measurement side, all right, that's just measuring for, you know, you could, if you were to cut this tree uh, wide open and lay that just your traditional uh, you know, kind of yardstick across there, you can measure diameter. But what we're really doing when we measure diameter is we're measuring circumference. And what this tape does is it takes the circumference, divides it by pi, okay, and gives us the diameter, all right? Tape does it for us. We, we don't even have to worry about it. So what we're going to do, again, uphill side of the tree, on that diameter at breast height, I'm just going to reach around the tree. This is when you get to hug trees for a living. You know, a lot of foresters, we do a lot of tree hugging. We're tree huggers. Okay, 4.5 feet above the ground. Pull that diameter tape tight. Okay, and these are 10th inch increments that you're going to be reading on it. So I got the tree, I measured the tree with a diameter tape as 7. Point, I'm sorry, 17.4 inches. A little bit different than what I got with the Biltmore stick. Okay, but close. One is a little bit better approximation. All right, obviously the, the uh, Biltmore stick is not quite as accurate. Uh, as as a D-tape, but still works well. Okay, so now we've seen measuring the DBH, all right, for uh, using a diameter tape and a Biltmore stick. Right, for salt timber, 10 inches and up is the DBH um, um, interval, all right. For pulpwood, though, tree that's smaller than this, used for paper production primarily, we're going to look at a DBH from 4 to 9 inches in diameter. Now that's not to say a tree with a larger diameter, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, et cetera, you know, up to about 32 inches, 
can't be used as pulpwood if it's poorly formed. But in general, if we have a tree that's anywhere from four to nine inches in diameter, we will consider that pulpwood if we're looking at a merchantable aspect of this, this uh, tree. And then 10 inches and greater, we want to really try to get into uh, to become a saw log.